Hello everyone, Mr. Power 46 here. Hmm. Not I must be out of or and welcome to Let's Play Psychonauts. In this episode, I'm going to uh, continue this level. We just got an assassin's weapon. That's fake. Good thing these other guys' weapons are probably fake, too. And also phones. Operator. Hey, he's actually talking on the phone. What the? Other than the fact that he's talking on the top part of it. Also, that's an old-looking phone. Phones weren't that... Didn't look that old even when this game came out. So, even now, it's worse. Feces. Whoops. Now, I need a certain item. Also, ah, uh, dang it. I didn't quite get enough momentum back up. But yeah, cobwebs, very useful. Because they can become side cards. I must be out of range or something. Might have to do a collect another collecting episode getting the cobwebs. And that's good, I uh, have all my ammo back. She's whispering to the bush. She's slightly insane. Of course, she is a figment, is a construct created by the Boyd. So, she doesn't really exist. That's an interesting little bug. Yeah, that's weird. You can see in the top right hand corner, there's a f there's an arrowhead there. That's an interesting little bug. Didn't even know that was possible. Ow! I'm only <laughs> Yeah, and if you look at, if they look at you of the, if you s look through the ca camera's point of view, it shows the, that you are a milk stealer. Because milk, the milkman is what they're looking for. And yeah, there's some stuff up here, by the way. Just so you know. Including a few mailboxes. Of the public variety. That follow you. Now, in case you're wondering what to do next. Enter in some kind of code into this this code thing. And I am denied. And then get out of range. And use clairvoyance on the guy coming out. Bear in mind that the code is not always the same. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. Once had it where or it was all the same number. Like, four of the same number. Which was kind of interesting. And a little silly. But I suppose the little silly is obvious. 
Now, this is the point where you actually need the cobweb duster. Really? I don't have the suitcase tag? Really? Uh... Ah, yes. And once you get too many items, you have to... Go... Ooh, use the D-pad right... To do it. Also... This is how you get through this room. Yeah. Use clairvoyance on a camera. Now, what you're going for... Uh, it's not sudden camera changes. Is this. The plunger. And yeah, there's some bombs. And some boxes. And some violent cabinets. Yeah, this is a conspiracy theorist mind. In case you had no idea. But based on... Ah, oh, yes, of course. Now for a boss battle! Sudden boss battle inserted here. They considered this boss battle for me as mine. But ultimately they decided not to do it. They considered having a lot of these guys for me as mine, actually. And yeah, that's how you take this guy out. It was a quick boss battle. And then if he hardens and punch him. And he gives you lots of stuff. Including, if you don't have max lives, an extra life. Now, back. I don't remember what was there. And yeah, there's that boss battle. In case you were wondering what it felt like to fight a nightmare. I'll probably just get the rest of this stuff up when it's easier. Which is the sewer is very very I work in the sewer. We are responsible for its upkeep. Hello, sewer worker. I think I met you at the union meeting. Of course, the union meeting. Was that where, where Paul attacked everyone? Oh. No? Okay. Ow. Oh, Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean assassin. Who is shooting at us? Of course, someone's shooting at the assassins. They'll mention that the guns are fake, too. <clears throat> now... Yeah... She's... The assassin sniping everyone. Of course! Oops. From the book depository. There seems to be someone shooting at us from that tower. And yeah, looks like it's an instant kill of that sniper. I like to shoot people. That's rude. Actually, I may as well talk to someone in there. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make My motivation. Shh. Don't broadcast that fact. They look real. <laughs> this is my gun. Yeah. Let's see if I have the duffel bag tag. I think that's the duffel bag. Actually, probably not. Steamer trunk tag, I think, actually. Still like me when we do that. Also, all mental cobwebs cleared. Which doesn't give you anything special other than tell you... Oh, you're done with that part of the level. Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never. Never, eh? Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Ah! Yeah. Where is the milkman? 
Who is the milkman? A little bit of interrogation. What is the of the milkman? Come closer. And I'll tell you. Of course. Boom. Yeah. Any of those. Conspiracy theorists. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like a super high. As if I were flying. They make it pretty obvious. Maybe I can yeah, not stilts. Yeah, I know you're from the circus, but still. Stop, helicopter. Land and let me in. I want to see the view from up there, please. And look! I am a helicopter pilot. Clairvoyance! I like to fly helicopters. Of course you do. We are looking for the milkman. The milkman's looking for you. We don't know where he is. I would have never guessed. Helicopters can go up and down. Of course. Man, these guys are coming. Hey, look. A person. What's that? I bet that's him. Ooh. Likely the milkman. Of course. Helicopters move sideways. The milkman. Too, but not as fast as planes. He's on that remote island over there. And the telephone pool pulls. Oh great. This'll be interesting. Hey look! A phone! Who is the milkman? Boy, is this you? I think I found the milkman. Of I have course. no idea what you're talking about. Who is this? Okay, from now on. Your name isn't Boy. It's Roy. Because you're such a big pain in my butt. If of course. You see the lady tossing the cookies, run away. Yeah. Hey look, telephone poles. And I got a phone. I'm sure you would never guess what I have to do there. I may as well beat up a few things in here. Because there's lots of items in here. And maybe I can get some stuff. Lady tossing her cookies, eh? Interesting. And yeah. Don't forget to switch back to the sniper rifle for going through here. Yeah, I know, silly mistake, but I'd like to shoot people. By the way, that's what happens if you don't have the item in there. Stop. This is a restricted area. And look. Oh great, another nightmare, really. And look, a squirrel taking a picture. I suppose I should actually bring out this. And there goes that battle. That was a quick battle too. It's a lot harder your first time. Hey look, it gave me an extra life. Yay. Aw, it didn't work. That's okay. And look, I'm back. Not that I personally ever left. Come work on the phone lines with us. And yeah, they're obviously not doing things right over here. I mean, you can see a guy with that's looking down the barrel of a sniper rifle. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? And 
Go forward. I can always take the other one later. And yeah, this is actually pretty easy as long as you know that there's a slight delay when pressing the button. And also that you can just jump. It'll keep you conformed to the path. Which is pretty useful. Pretty dang useful. Whee! All, and also, by the way, when it says... Is the... You know, I, I may as well just go in. Well, sort of. My brain goes blank. And it's obnoxious. Be right there. And yeah, this one's a lot harder without advanced invisibility. It's possible to do it without invisibility altogether, actually. Which is what speedrunners do. Especially now that we know that you can skip invisibility if you do it right. Uh oh. This is bad. Suddenly, sensors! The sensors were working with the G Men all along. In fact, they were always the G Men. Of course. Little silly, but that's okay. Now, cutscene. Now, there's a few things you want for this battle Psy Blast, probably Psy Shield, and Psy. Yeah. You can also do other I methods, but... That's a little rude. You can also just use side Blast. Yeah, you, yeah, the method it really wants you to use is not Psy Blast. Especially when it gets to the halfway point of this battle. Occasionally, he, when the guy, when the G-Men capture you, that is the... Yeah, my brain keeps going blank and it's obnoxious. Now, what they want you to do is this. But when the G-Men capture you, occasionally they can say, What is the purpose of the goggles? Simple. I'm using clairvoyance on you. And she's dead. That was fast. This is actually a lot harder of a boss fight than I'm making it look like. Than I made it look like technically because it's over. Hey look! The milkman. My milk is delicious. Of course. 
Brody. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Suddenly, Molotov cocktails. Once again. Destroy the spawn points. And suddenly, kicked out of the mind. Milkman, my milk is delicious. Suddenly, he's the milkman. Boy, are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants, what the world deserves. Are you of sure course. you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? In case you were wondering, yes, we still have the psycho portal. There's just not enough of slots. Now time to pick up a couple of items here. There's actually a new collectible here. You may have just seen it. Hey look, scavenger hunt complete. May as well turn that in in just a sec. Suddenly I've got children's brains! Yes! I got a brain! Finally! Now your ears won't whistle so much when the wind blows. <laughs> no, I meant I recovered a stolen brain. Oh, I know what you meant. Yes. You and Sasha. No of course. When you're on a mission, hmm? Well, are you gonna come back here so we can recranialize that noodle while it's still al dente? Now, in case you're wondering what that does to recranialize, other than, of course, returning the character to normal, what it does is gives you extra maximum health, which is pretty awesome. Also, he's preparing a Molotov cocktail. Yep. And yeah, I think this should be it for it uh, for these episodes, other than I'm going to turn in the scavenger hunt item. I think it should be it for this live stream. Did two levels. And I probably already got everything. Okay, so one last thing. Bacon! There's that smell again. Now, time to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. I'm gonna turn in scavenger hunt items and brains! First scavenger hunt item, so. No, not the main lodge. I pressed the button too quickly. Bring me Roger. Geodesic Psycho Isolation Chamber. Yep. That. Wrong direction again. <laughs> everyone's missing and their brains are stolen and I think the coach is trying to take over the world with psychically armed death tanks well, of course you see what happens when you go to parts of the forest that are off limits won't you help I'm no. a ranger I've got enough problems wrangling these leaves ta-da I'm done I completed the, the scavenger, scavenger hunt great oh, great I don't think anyone's ever done the whole of thing course. before now, hold still. This might hurt. Now, the telekinesis range is extended. The next side, <laughs> the next side blast upgrade 
he upgrades it to go for er, six. I, six. I, bleh, I can't even talk. It allows you to go for six somethings. I can't even remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, when you fire something, it'll ricochet six times. So go between six targets. Or if you've got only two targets, go at each target three times, or as many times as it can, depending on which is lower. Because it might kill one of them first, and then it won't. It will stop ricocheting. Now to turn in the brains. And yeah, this is what happens when you let the psychic cougar attack you. It is a pain in the butt. Which is part of why I really like the fully upgraded levitation ability. Uh, well, I may as well show oh, doing psych cards. Like, yeah, that's how you get psych cards from cobwebs. In case you were a little confused about that. Now, let's actually... Uh, I failed again. Of course, just as I said I was going to end the episode in just a second. This is going to be an especially long episode. 50,000 frames, wow. Well, the good thing about you finding that kid's brain, besides the whole thinking and feeling they'll be able to do now, is that they will be adding their subconscious mental attention and, to your quest. Yeah, and, yeah, this is use. Your useful. Attention. Very useful. That sounds great. But is the surgery going to be dangerous? Nothing's dangerous when you have the right tools. And the funnel. Yes, but not dangerous. And so, long story short, we're hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Well, there's only one thing that can make this better. Pedicure. See ya. Of course. So that's why... Even though she is a girl, and we are good friends, she is not technically my girlfriend. Well, <laughs> I can tell you one thing. My dad is never going to send me to this camp again. Where's Kitty? Never mind. I'll find her. <laughs> and that's why we need your help more than anybody's. <clears throat> Shut my mouth. I better go patrol the living quarters. Guard the women folk and all. Say is my hungry walking around yet? Not yet, but soon. I just hope he forgives me for acting like such a dang fool. Agent Queller? And look, Max health. I point to the screen in the opposite direction. Of course. Now to go back into the field. Okay. It's a little mirror exactly for me. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Loading. And yeah, I think that's it for this live stream and this episode. So until next time, have fun. I apparently have a viewer, what the, and no idea how to do an outro. See ya.